Good day to you, this is Ephraim, one of the Tornado Twins from UnityPrefabs.com and we have another exciting prefab for you that you can use in your game development. This is a third person camera that you would for example see in Gears of War or what have you, Lara Croft. Um, and you can use this to make iPhone and iPad games. Now for just this preview purposes I'm using the iPhone screen. Uh, you can also use an iPad, yeah, it's all working perfectly. Alright, so uh, let me run the game and show you the features that we have. Um, one uh, nice little thing that uh, is added by one of our awesome coders is that if you use your mouse to rotate left and right or the keys, you can do that in case you just forgot about your iPhone or your iPad. However, I'm now switching and grabbing my iPhone. I can use these joysticks also to move the character around, which in inevitably is what you want before you export your game. The right joystick is to move the camera around so we can look around the character or around in 3D space and explore the level. And then we have the left joystick that would uh, make our character move back, forth, left and right. And then we have two extra action buttons. A1 is for jumping and then the extra action button 2 doesn't do anything right now but you can set it up to do whatever you want it and if you don't want it just delete it. A nice feature is that when we go through the walls with our camera, the camera just moves closer to the actual character. So this way we uh, are not conflicting with anything by going through walls. Of course, uh, I would recommend that if the camera is getting closer to the character, you make the character more transparent like you would see in most games. Instead of having the camera go right through the character. Alright, so uh, let's see what else we can tweak about this. Let me pause the game here. We have the prefab right here. So we have the controls and the player. Uh, from the controls we can tweak the action 1 button, change the graphics, do whatever you want. Action 2 button, change the message because there's nothing right now. Or change the graphics, do whatever you want with this one. Left joystick and right joystick you can change the radius and the size. For the player, you can tweak a lot of things, the speed that he's walking with, the um, touch sensitivity, the mouse drag, that sort of thing. Uh, do make sure that you uncheck make keyboard and mouse testing enabled uh, because uh, uncheck it before you export your game, before submitting it to the App Store because it would just listen to more input and you don't need that to slow down your game. Alright, then we have the actual camera pivot, which is uh, make sure that our camera rotates around our character. We can change the sensitivity and the invert Y, yes or no. And then the camera itself has a certain distance that it follows the player with a certain height, the offset and the damping, anything you would um, expect from a, a good camera setup is there. And then finally, the graphics, which is the cylinder what represents the player. Please do rep uh, replace this with your character so that your game looks good instead of having this cylinder move around instead of it. It's just a placeholder to help you get started. Alright, I hope this will uh, shave a couple of weeks off of the development of your game and um, happy game development. Make sure you send us some screenshots of your work when you use our prefabs from unityprefabs.com so we can link back to you and show people what other, others are doing with their stuff. Alright, talk to you later.